Well, Governor Jim Pillen is attempting to cut property taxes by 40 percent, as there had been an initial proposal to increase sales tax by 2 percent. However, lowering property tax could affect schools in the area. Local 4's Leroy Triggs joins us in studio with more. Brandon, Casey's Public School Superintendent Jeff Snyder says there's approximately 50 bills in literature related to education, but the main focus has been LB1316. That bill ca would cap their annual increase at 3% with no exceptions. Governor Pillen is frustrated with school districts that increase their property levy despite receiving extra funding from the state. Now, Snyder says the amount of education-driven bills suggests that state government doesn't trust local government, when the real problem is there's only so many ways to generate income to provide all necessary public works. Currently, HPS is in a good place, but the effects of this bill will start with what they need the most. It'll be people. Um, we are a people business. About 90% of the dollars we spend over the course of the year are payroll. Um, so obviously if we take huge funding hits, we're going to have to have less people working for us, um, uh, which is not a good thing uh, for some of our most needy students. Snyder says if this bill is passed, larger class sizes could be in also the effect of it. He says that there's something that's it's something that they will have to deal with five years down the road. But the school district, when they receive extra funding from the state, they managed to lower their tax levy by 13 percent. Now, he says the first time that they were able to do such things in 30 years. Brandon, back to you at the desk.